it's been a year and I haven't made a video. Oh, no, that's not right. I haven't made a video this year. So I thought I'd do one relating to the navigation system, my latest game, The Thousand Roads, a choose your own adventure fantasy game available in source. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll market it when it's out. Um, it doesn't have any like gameplay per se, it's just a choose your own adventure game. So almost all the code I've been doing has been UI based, which though makes me want to claw my eyes out, has given me <laughs> new understandings of things like the navigation system. So today I will get into the breadcrumb system. If you don't know what breadcrumbing is, it's basically a way to follow menus back. So um, you'll see it on a lot of websites and it's essentially this. So this is like the base scene. So this is like at level zero. And if I click something, it'll open a menu and then I can press B and it'll close that menu and I'll reselect the button. So for example, again, I click settings and I'm taken into this menu and I can go recursively into another settings menu. So let's we'll say we go into the audio menu, I can go back and left and right or into the graphics menu. And again, I can open something like this. So we're now like three menus deep. And if I press no, I'll reselect the graphics menu. So we're back here and if I press back, it'll reselect this, etc. And I can even go, um, if I press the start button all the way back straight back to this main menu the settings menu so that kind of it kind of recursively saves each menu and each um, uh, button that you've pressed to allow you to go back to wherever you want and I think I'll start at the me menu base because this is quite straightforward you just seen the manual close so that's just the X button which just closes the menu uh, each base has a each menu base has a close function which by default just destroys the game object this can be overridden in the uh, base itself so for example here we override base to instead of destroying the object we just set it active to false rather than destroy it so that's what close does and it's only ever called from uh, this close menu button so this is where it's called uh, the on the when it's enabled, you open the menu, which we'll get into. It basically adds the menu to the breadcrumb system, and this delayed select. Uh, how do I explain this? It basically just does this. So every every menu has a first selected op um, object. So if we look at settings menu, you'll see that this settings canvas manager, which inherits from the menu base, you'll see it has a first uh, selected button so when you when you go onto this menu the but the audio button is already selected that's the first thing that gets selected the reason we don't just say first selected dot select and we instead do this invoke is so it does it a frame after because if you create the base or you create the menu and then you select it although it will be selected so you can move up and down left and right from that and it'll look fine it won't highlight it as if it's selected, that, which is just an issue with Unity. You can't do it on the same frame, and this just does on the next frame. I'm also not going to get into how the invoke works. It goes into um, uh, lambda expressions and actions and stuff. That's just the lambda expression. If you don't ask what lambda expressions are, they're very powerful. You should definitely learn how they work. I'll maybe put a link to this in, because this is where I got it from. But I probably won't because I'm lazy and forgetful, so feel free to write that down. <laughs> so yeah, that's the entire menu base. We'll actually get into what each thing does now. Um, as I said, the close is quite straightforward. It does a different thing based on your needs for it. Same with the um, close menu, we'll get into that. So we'll start with the open because it's probably the simplest. What it does first is check if there is something selected. So if event system dot current dot current selected game object isn't null so if you have a game object selected did I close this yeah so for example now settings is selected if you do that then it will add that object to the breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs is just a list of selectables and then you add the menu base which is the menu you're opening so it just passes in this because this is an extension method so this this menu base dot uh, underscore menu base is basically if you don't know what extension methods are they um it's uh, i've basically got this here so th this this methods on this basically 
but obviously it's not because it's on this, which allows me to use the breadcrumbs. <laughs> it's probably the worst explanation anyone's ever given on what extension methods are. <laughs> but <laughs> you get the idea. I can just call this dot open menu and it'll call it here and this is the this that's, hand, that's handed to it. So it'll put the menu base into a list of menu bases which we've just called active menus, so these are all the open menus. And then we'll actually do the delayed selects, as I said before. Obviously you first have to set the current um, game object to null, so you're not still selecting um, settings. So for example, you, you can see load story here. I keep going to like reach the screen. You see load story there. If I click it, you'll see it's no longer selected. And if I close it, then it reselects because you don't want multiple things selected at once, it can kind of mess up. So the opening menu is quite straightforward, and the close menu, which is called by either pressing back or it's called by um, doing the manual close button, you can call that from any button as long as you have a menu on the scene, obviously you probably will, because if you're pre the close menu button is going to be on a menu. Um, and that does this, if, if any menus are open, and that just uh, returns a boolean if the active menus dot count is above zero if any menu is open then um, return true so if if not any menu is open if there are no menus open return false and then last index is active menus dot count minus one so that's the the last index this is how I think code should be done <laughs> I mean to pat myself on the back <laughs> this is example of perfect codes in case you're curious but code should be uh, self-commenting in reality so everything should be easy to follow like any menus open I didn't have to explain what I did because it says it says any menus open and last index is obviously just the last index so when you close the menu it closes the menu at the last index so it closes the last index the last menu as I said um, it's like it's like you saw it's like a push and pop system so uh, first in last out is another way they say it push pop so if you put if you have a menu there, or something there, and then you put another menu on top, another menu on top, the first menu you close will be the last one you put on. So pop, pop, pop. Last in, first in, last out. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Um, if crumb, if not crumb return, so this basically just allows you to say whether or not um, you're doing the breadcrumbing feature. If you are doing the breadcrumbing feature, then last index is now the breadcrumb count minus one. If the if the count counts greater than zero, then um, if the last index isn't null, then select the last index, the breadcrumb at the last index, and then remove that. Because so you basically just moved your way down. Otherwise, just remove it at last index. And close all menus is quite simple. While any menus are open, then close the menu. So I just closes them iteratively, iteratively one at a time until they're all closed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes, there's some intricacies. Did I already explain this? How I'm pretty sure I did. So it's been a 15 minute tutorial from a tiny script. I see I must have talked about this thing. <laughs> but yeah, there's just ways you can override it. So this overrides the close there, or this overrides the on enable to close all menus and then do a bunch of other stuff. Then it does the base on enable, changes the first selected button. And it's just, it's just like, however you want to do it so it doesn't have to just be straight up menus like this open a menu close a menu it can as i said be open a menu and then set this menu to true and then close it by closing all these other sub menus and then you do this is just another one open and close but i hope this helps and 15 minutes is daunting 16 minutes is daunting it really it, it could have i could have rattled through this in five but uh, so i've been wait it's been way too long since I put a tutorial. I hope you'll forgive me. Anyway, I feel bad about plugging anything at this point. This this tutorial was god awful. Go by above the stars. Oh shit, I did it anyway. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.